are tired. We have been outside. We've been outside waiting for you guys. Honestly, so what do you want us to do now? What do you want from us? Adekunde. Hey guys, welcome back again to my channel. My name is Vicky for those of you who do not know me. And please, if you're stumbling on this channel for the very first time, of course, you know why you clicked on the video to watch. Please consider to hit on the subscription button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Guess what, guys? It is absolutely free. And please, please, please like the video to help me reach the audience who are interested in this kind of video i know you are interested that's why you click to watch right <laughs> of course we are still into the all stars this is day two and yeah i'll be recapping on you guys of what happened last night in the big brother mansion you get the first ever clash happened between messi and adekunle the head of house you get so apparently messi was trying to tell the housemate late 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 in the night you get was trying to tell the housemate that them just sitting down and gisting wasn't really really necessary that you should come so that they can start discussing about their wager tax you get for the week and then adekunle was like everybody is tired that um he's not ready to talk about it maybe tomorrow which is today you get and messi was like you're not doing this thing properly if other people get to be the head of house they will control it properly and um, that's please why are we sitting to talk Messi was not just having it she was like she preferred them to talk about it and Adekule was like they should talk about it the next day so apparently big brother now called the house now called Adekule into the storeroom to get their match for workout or something like that you get and then Adekule used that opportunity to gather the housemates and immediately Messi just realized that he was about to say they should talk about the wager she just got up and leave and i felt like she just did that because of the fact that of course adekule shut her out like no we are not ready to talk about it till the next day so why are you gathering us now for us to talk about it so adekule was not having it she he was like if Messi becomes the head of house he's actually going to work out on her so that she knows that it's not her that's the only one that can do that you get but still and still and still and still earlier today they actually settled it they spoke about it and though they didn't show us what they were talking about but we saw them talking towards the end of their discussion and then they each other and that particular beef is resolved well to us i don't know if they'll be having some underlining you know drama and yes let's talk about big t you know our own very tasha 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 as i was saying just imagine the first two people that will be evicted or like the first three people that were evicted from the show from big what would people say because i mean right now people already have Ooh. what they are saying about like the housemaid going back in and mm. all of that and like mm. i said for me it's all about business if you are mm. going to pay me then yes we would do it but if you're not going to pay me i'm not going to water down my brand to mm. give nigerians a show because come on now it's big t like we know nobody can do it like me let me tell you i was washing clothes on eviction night mm -hmm. like possible eviction night i was washing clothes that i know is going to die the next day because i know i'm not going anywhere mm -hmm. like i literally give the hairstylist my week to say bring it back next week sunday mm -hmm. like no cap do you understand then i know how entertaining all of that kind of stuff can be because i mean personalities like this you don't really meet them on an everyday so if they are going to pay me to be do you understand yeah. because now if, if there's even no question about if i'm going to win it this time if i go or not because i feel go and i get disqualified the day before <laughs> the show go finish <laughs> don't kill so, me so i i mean uh, so let it be yeah. that if you're getting evicted you know you're uh, getting mm -hmm. evicted mm -hmm. with, with money mm -hmm. money in your pocket so okay. i mean yeah. that, that that's it really not like oh like there's never going to be a touch on a reality mm -hmm. show i mean i have done a reality show since after 2019 and i mm -hmm. got paid weekly to be on that show thousands of dollars that's crazy because Tasha was you know had a conversation on the podcast and she was like she's not coming to bb niger because she cannot water down her own brand just to give nigerians a show you guys you know sometimes tasha's confidence can you know begin to sound like arrogance but um, that's how she feels about it and there is nothing we all can actually do do about it you get so tasha is like um, if i'm going to come to the show you have to pay me i don't have to come and then i get evicted or even get disqualified for the second time without any cash so me i'm not ready to leave what i am doing that gives me money to come and be hustling for a 120 million naira that not that is not even guaranteed you get what i'm saying so yeah i understood her in some way and i'm like Tasha, some some questions shouldn't even be answered. You guess what I'm trying to say. Anyway, guys, moving on to the next topic is about our lover boy. You guys know who our lover boy is in person of fraud. Fraud was having like a conversation with um CC and um Kidwire and um EK last night. And 
they were talking about marriage and relationship and Freud was like he said he waited for his wife because she was in a relationship when she met him that his wife's brother is his friend and he keeps posting the sister and he, she was like he was like oh i like this your sister and that was just it and they became friend and along the line along the line while he, they were friends he was like are you still in a relationship or something and she's like no that's maybe something some discussion brought some discussion and the girl was like no i'm not in a relationship anymore and she was like yeah this is the perfect time that i've been waiting for and he just shot his shot and they got talking i was gonna ask for how on earth you even found a good girl uh because you know say for me i don't ask you many times my it's wife, impossible my wife i waited in the nightlife but did you guys wait did my wife was in a relationship when i saw my wife oh, wait, wait, wait. she was in a relationship you waited yes i can't but my wife's brother mm -hmm. is my friend we went to the same school oh. so he always uploads his sisters on their birthdays yeah. so that's how i was able to ah, this is your sister uh, also earlier today the housemates were having like a conversation between angel venita and um euro and you can hear angel just being like they were just talking about contraceptives and who is going to take contra contraceptive who should take contraceptive who shouldn't take contraceptive they were just chat talking about everything that has to do with contraceptive and <laughs> You can hear Angel saying that Omar, she has stopped taking contra contraceptives no more, that the guys should be taking contraceptives. And I'm like, wow, Angel, you're bothered about contraceptives. Yeah, you're not bothered about every other thing apart from getting pregnant. You get what I mean? But anyway, that was just the discussion that was actually going on among the ladies and every other, some other few housemates there. And the last but not the least thing I want to talk about is Angel and Soma. <laughs> Angel and Soma, they are already taking what we are seeing. They are shipping. They are already trying to make their ship sail. <laughs> I really don't talk in real life. Everybody that knows me knows I'm so quiet. Like, I don't have anything interesting to tell you. If you don't talk to me, I will literally not talk to you. So, I forgot how to ask anyone to actually talk. Oh, I don't talk, man. Like, I tire. I just one day. I've talked, 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 talked. I'm only 48 hours. Uh, I've talked, man. You guys, the bond has been like bonding like this. So the bond has been bonding. Like they are just getting to know each other and they cannot get enough of each other. They can't even leave each other's side. You get what I'm trying to mean? Our eyes are on them. We are here for them. We will always bring the arm over to you. So basically, guys, that's just what has happened up to this point. And as I'm talking to you right now, they are just doing their diary section. And I'll obviously bring the gist to you guys. And of course, from everything we've observed between yesterday and today, is the housemates are beginning to form alliance within themselves. Like they are beginning to have groups of themselves, like trying to get into each other and we cannot even wait for the drama because to be really honest or to be fair with you this season i feel will be drama filled like drama filled especially the fact that you can discuss your nomination who you want to nominate who you would like your friends to nominate or you people can you know gang up against each other so i can't even wait for the whole drama to unveil so if that's the kind of drama you will be wanting to hear for us to come and gist we can be gisting it together please subscribe do not forget to subscribe turn on your bell notification and like the video drop your comments in the comment section i will definitely see you guys in my next video bye guys